Well, I built another board. This board lets me control four GoPros at once. Unfortunately, I only have two right now. Um, the camera on the right is named Homer, and then the camera on the left is named Marge. Um, very first step to using this new board with multiple cameras is to tell the board to detect cameras. It found Homer. It found Marge. Now it's going to try to test for camera three and says camera three is not installed. It repeats for camera four and says camera four is not installed. Since both cameras are both on now, but they're in the 3D video taking mode, I need to issue a mode command. And that mode command executed simultaneously on both cameras. That puts the cameras into their 3D picture taking mode. Now I'm going to issue the snap command to take a snapshot. Uh, both cameras just took a snapshot. And then I'm going to issue the snap command one more time to take another snapshot. And both cameras took a snapshot. Lastly, I'm going to turn the cameras off. I'm using one command, first it turns off camera one, then it'll turn off camera two. And it's smart enough to know the cameras three and four aren't installed, so it doesn't try to turn them off. So this is the, the new four channel board. Take, the next we'll take a little bit closer look at the hardware. So here's a close up of the new board. This board was designed more for production use than experimental use. Um, the one thing that, that's really, I guess there's two things that are really different between this board. One is that this board is capable of controlling up to four cameras at once. It's connector for a camera there, 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 and there. The other big difference between this board and the last board is this board doesn't have the flexibility to do anything other than what you could do with the GoPro um, slave cable that they sell. All the drivers that need to be outputs are fixed at outputs. All the drivers that need to be fixed as inputs are inputs. So this board really can only do one thing, and that's to place the cameras into the, the 3D slave mode and then um, tell the cameras either turn on and off video or take a snapshot. Um, the hardware itself is pretty similar. Um, the last board had a 28 pin dip um, PIC microcontroller. I've since upgraded to a 44 pin TQFP, which is located in the center of the board, but on the reverse side. So that's the new board.